This time we're going to talk you through skiing and snowboarding in Europe. Where should you go and can you still do it without breaking the bank? Well, the truth is, the dollar isn't worth what it used to be in Europe, except for England, which isn't exactly known for all it's worth its worth. So you're looking at countries which use either the euro or the Swiss franc, both of which seem to be unstoppable in their climb towards value peaks as high as the Alps themselves. So no matter how careful you are, riding and skiing in the Alps is going to cost you more than it used to. Now that said, here's a surprising piece of news for you. It still might cost less than skiing in our own Rocky Mountains. How's that, you ask? The reason is simple. If you're willing to stay in a hostel, you're going to save big on your accommodations, and you might even have a great time. Now, some of these hostels are in stunning locations, and they're often a magnet for kids from all over the world, so you're bound to make friends at the same time. Swiss hostels, and cheaper hostels for that matter, aren't the cheapest in the world, but they do offer outstanding value. And Swiss ski resorts often offer free amenities, like sports complexes. That makes staying in them an excellent value. But there are other options beyond hostels, which can also be as cheap, which we'll look at as we continue. I'm Rick Chambers for Professorate.com. Remember, when you're out traveling and skiing, it's not always the hotel, it's more the mountain.